Hello everyone, I'm Mantis Mavic, and this is my collection of praying mantis species from around the world. Let's get into it. This is my African twig mantis. He is by far my biggest mantis, and he is fully grown. He is a male, and he can fly. He flies very well. I've only seen him do it two times, but he does not like his cage. I have to get him a bigger one. This mantis, the Popa Spurca, which is the scientific name for African twig, definitely resembles its name, as it looks just like a twig. When it is scared, it just throws out its arms and acts exactly like a twig. I got this mantis when it was in its L3 stage, so I don't know what nymph life is like. But from what I can tell you about L4 onwards, it was very easy to take care of. If you have a mantis, I would recommend getting this one. But if you don't and you want to start off, it's kind of expensive and it's also a non-native species to the Americas. The next mantis I have is the Violin Mantis, which is named after the instrument because of its slender prothorax, which it connects the uh, head and the abdomen. These guys are all about L4. These guys are a very dry and hot species, so they take 90 to 80 degree weather. But I found that they're very easy to take care of, even in like 72 degrees. These mantids definitely aren't for beginners. You should have a couple mantids of experience, like I do, before you start to buy these. And I recommend getting a few, but definitely go for a 12 by 12 by 12. It definitely suits them. There's a lot of space and a lot of space to grow and all that. Next up are my ghost mantids. I have four of them. One's in their L5 stage and the other three are in their L4. Uh, I got them from four different breeders. I think these guys are all female, and I was hoping for a male, that's why I bought four different breeders. If you count the little segments on the back, there's five of them there. This is my biggest one, who is L5. He is, she is definitely a female. This guy's drinking a lot of water right now. I don't think I've watered him in about... These mantids are great beginner species, and even if you don't have a mantis, I would recommend getting them. I had these guys since 
probably L1 or L2, and they are very easy to keep. You just put the food in, give them a lot of water when they're young, at least that's what I found to work well. I recommend researching before you get any species, but make sure to uh, buy the food and container for all of these species, even if you're getting a giant African, which is the next species. Next up is the giant African species. I have three of these guys. They are all females, and they are very excited and rambunctious. These guys will run around, they're very fast, and they, they're skittish. These guys are very good as a beginner species, uh, because they're low maintenance, and they're actually very fun to uh, see them run around and go really fast and jump and all that. As I said before, these are a great beginner species, even if you haven't ever had a mantis before. They don't eat too much. Right now I've fed them a bunch of Heidi Eye fruit flies. Oh, you got one. And that's pretty much it for the giant Africans. On to the orchids. This is the orchid mantis, by far the most beautiful mantis that I have. It's a very expensive mantis that is found in Malaysia and it looks just like an orchid. When it comes time for them to molt, they start to turn pink color, just like this flower here. I have two orchid mantids, they're both female, from what I could tell from their uh, abdomen. I counted their segments. And I have this one down here from two different breeders. Uh, the first one was found on usmantis.com. And then the one down here was on MantisKingdom.com. I would rate this species definitely not for a beginner, but if you have a passion for these guys, they're quite expensive. After maybe a couple mantids, maybe get a couple ghosts, then move on to these because they need high humidity and heat. But as I said before with the violin mantids, they can uh, withstand 72 degrees at night. But I really wouldn't recommend it. I'd get a separate heating lamp for these guys. Last, I have these two mantids here, which are shield mantids. They are from Malaysia. They grow very big, and they're known for their shield, which is on their back there. They're quite small compared to other mantids, and they're also in their uh, container, so I can't focus on them very well. But they are my favorite species. I'm not sure how to rate these last guy, beginner or not, because I've had these guys, I just got them recently so I haven't had much time to uh, spend with them, but they are a fun species, definitely. I let them run around and they move from side to side, and then if I do that with them, they uh, react to that and then they'll stop and they'll climb and jump all over my hands and all that, which is very fun. So these are a fun species, but I don't know if they're hard to take care of. I got them L three, and I think they're L4, L5 now, but from the same breeder, Mantis Kingdom, and uh, you guys should check them out, and if you guys want to buy any Mantids, I would recommend it, ask me any questions in the comments below, and uh, thank you. Thank you guys for watching my video, I've enjoyed all of the positive comments and views over the past week. We've hit 150 views, which is crazy. Thank you guys so much for that. I'll make sure to post more videos in the coming weeks. I've just enjoyed it so much. I was a little bit sick, 
a couple days ago, that's why I was so monotone. I'm just editing this now, so thank you guys so much. Make sure to click on the video on screen right now, and uh, enjoy. Thank you.